Hello everyone, welcome to our pre-calculus class. Uh, this is our lesson one, a very brief introduction to trigonometry. So in this lesson, we will discuss few important things related to trigonometry, basic things, very basic thing. And then we will enter into our section 6.2 in our book. Uh, so let's begin. First of all, what is trigonometry? If you break down the word trigonometry, then we have actually three part, parts here. Tri means three, gono means angle, and metri means measurement. That means three angle measurement. So the figure that we have, three angle is triangle. In the triangle, we have three angles. That means this is actually telling us three angles measurement or triangle measurement. Also, trigono, trigono means triangle, metri means measurement. This way also we can discuss. That means triangle measurement. So the word itself is telling us this is related to triangle measurement. But uh, this is not only confined within the triangle measurement, we discuss the circle also here. Then this is the earliest work of some, um, uh, some earlier work of uh, trigonometry, which uh, we, we have the, uh, in the third century BCE, we have some evidence that people used to work with the trigonometry. This BCE means before the common era. Of course, some other people in some Babylonian people, some Egyptian people also uh, try to study this in their in their own way, but the Greek people actually uh, have done some formal uh, or some institutional kind of study related to trigonometry. Then uh, the trigonometry is rigorously studied in uh, the Indian Indian subcontinent, then Arabian uh, that part. Um, so later some other people also joined in the in the development of the trigonometry so if you uh, look at the history of the trigonometry you will see that the uh, babylonian then egyptian then greek then indian then arabic arab people then then now uh, some other all other people this is the the more or less the path of the development of trigonometry so why do we use it? We use it uh, for finding the distance, navigation, astrophysics, this is astronomy, engineering, etc. Then we have sound, light, this kind of thing. And you'll see one common thing in uh, everywhere is angle. So if the angles are given, then actually we can discuss the trigonometry. And then we can actually bring that topic to trigonometry if the angle is given. Okay. So that's one important thing. You will see this is waves. Sound is also kind of uh, we can uh, we can represent it represent it by some waves. Light is also some waves, okay. And uh, even in in some you will see in the book also this is written the waves in the ocean also uh, we can uh, model it by using some complex trigonometric functions. So yeah, this is where we use it. The properties of triangle. So as you know this is very basic thing this is the base of the triangle right triangle this is the height of the right triangle this symbol here tells us that this is 90 degree and this is the base as you can see this is the height of the triangle so what will be the area of this this triangle the area of the triangle will be what the area of the triangle is the base into height half into base into height okay this is the basic things i think yeah you are aware of that total angle total angle or some of the three angles of a triangle is 180 degree if we add this one this one and this one the total will be 180 degree okay so if this is 90 degree then this one and this one together will be another 90 degree okay right angle is 90 degree and we can see that this is a right triangle this is the famous Pythagorean theorem very very important and very elegant formula uh, that we have this is the length of the any side actually you cannot say that this is base or this is uh, perpendicular or this is adjacent or this is opposite we cannot say that because the angle is not given but this is the length of the uh, one side this is the length of the another side and this is the length of the hypotenuse and the formula is this hypotenuse is square equals to the si sum of the other two side is sides is square so this is the formula very very useful formula that we use actually wherever we get this right angle uh, triangle we can use it everywhere now here comes one important thing <coughs> see this is the 
this is the given angle this is the given angle let me take some red color this is the given angle this is theta theta is given here and we can see that this is the 90 degree so this must be the hypotenuse the opposite side of the 90 degree is hypotenuse okay and then which one is adjacent which one is opposite to understand that you have to look at where the angle is given as the angle is given here so this will be the adjacent adjacent okay and the opposite side of this angle is the opposite see this is the angle given given angle theta so opposite side of this uh, theta is will be always opposite and why i'm telling you this is sometimes most of the people just look at the figure and they say okay the downside this is adjacent and this is the opposite or in other words another name of adjacent is base base so if they look at the figure they said oh this is the base and this is the perpendicular some people call it perpendicular also so if i just change the figure if i just change the figure and draw it something like this suppose this is the figure suppose this is the figure and this is 90 degree now if you look at from this side say say for example theta is given here by the way if theta is not given then we cannot say which one is adjacent and which one is opposite now look if you look at look at this figure from this side then it looks like this is our base but if you look at this side from this side then it looks like this is our base so this is confusing that's the thing that i want to mean is this is not how we should uh, we should uh, say which one is base which one is perpendicular etc we have to look at the angle given angle theta so theta is given here so either this side or this side must be adjacent but since we already know that this will be the hypotenuse you can see the right angle is here opposite side of the right, right angle is hypotenuse so this must be the hypotenuse and this is the given angle theta so this must be the adjacent and you can see this is the theta so opposite side of the theta is here so this is the opposite okay so those who have confusion about this uh, of course many of you i think already uh, very clear about this but some people may have confusion please uh, refer to this always you just look at where is theta given that side will be the adjacent the opposite side of 90 degree will be the hypotenuse and then another one side is remaining so that must be the opposite okay and then we have this trigonometric uh, functions sine function cosine function and tangent function these are the basic trigonometric function what is this these are actually the ratio of the sides of this uh, triangle ratio of the sides of this triangle and we can define it sine theta is defined by the opposite divided by adjacent and cos theta is de defined by the let me clear it up cos theta is defined by the adjacent divided by hypotenuse and tan theta is defined by the opposite divided by adjacent opposite these, these are here actually the, there are a uh, very easy way to memorize this thing or keep it in mind this is the another word to use i can use this is called socatos s o h so then ka c a h c a h so ka then twa t o a twa So, so, so it means what it means sine theta equals to opposite by hypotenuse cos theta equals to adjacent by hypotenuse tan theta equals to opposite by adjacent so if you just uh, keep it in mind you will know this and this is very useful actually it looks like very innocent something here very uh, very regular guy some some very regular guy here but they have very uh, important uses in in the development of the subject you will see then after sine theta cosine theta and tan, tan theta or sine function cosine function and tan fun, uh, tangent function we have we have their reciprocals also this uh, this is the reciprocals of the same thing suppose sine theta so sine theta's re reciprocal is cosec theta then cos theta uh, reciprocal is sec theta then uh, tan theta reciprocal is uh, tan theta reciprocal is cot theta okay so you can see sine opposite of sine is co uh, cosec then cos opposite of this is sec sec a c c first three 
first three um, alphabet we can take then cot cotangent from cotangent we can just say that uh, cot theta this is cosec theta cosec theta we call it this is the opposite of suppose sin theta equals to what sin theta equals to opposite by hypotenuse then cosec theta will be hypotenuse by opposite just uh, reverse of this we have to just flip them suppose cos theta equals to adjacent by hypotenuse so sec theta will be hypotenuse divided by adjacent okay just they will flip and similarly tan theta will be this is tan theta opposite by adjacent so cot theta will be adjacent by opposite okay adjacent will go up opposite will come down uh, this is the since they are they are their reciprocal that's why and this is how they are they are they are defined okay so see one application of these things suppose now we are studying this what is the application where we can apply it one application is here if you look at this uh, uh, very high building high building suppose uh, without climbing this uh, this tall building can you tell the height of this building if you have some other information let's say you have the distance from here to here you are standing at this place say you are standing at this place and then from this place from your place you know that the angle uh, by eye estimation or by some stick or some other materials if you just look at the sky uh, top of this uh, top of this building then you can actually you can um, predict or you can somewhat you can uh, estimate the angle what is the angle here and then since this is the ground you can measure the distance here you can measure the distance here so you have this distance and you have this angle then can you tell uh, what is the height of this what is the height of this uh, building and answer is actually we can we can because we have our uh, formula this b this this is the adjacent and this is the opposite since the theta is here so adjacent and opposite related th formula is tan theta if you go back and see the slide tan theta so if we use the tan theta formula we can actually we can actually uh, tell the answer which is here so tan theta equals to y divided by x if we consider that this base is x and this side is y and this is given x equals to 50 as you can see that 50 meter away we are uh, 50 meter away from the building and the angle is 73 degree this angle is 73 degree this two line is given in the question eh. so we are now doing the math from this uh, place then we just uh, tan theta equal to 73 73 degree now a hey, first here some people can uh, uh, some people may ask this question why we are using tan theta why not sin theta cos theta because the reason is why we are discussing uh, this the reason is if you look at sin theta sin theta means say so h we can write here is so ka so soh so sin theta equal to opposite by hypotenuse okay so opposite opposite by hypotenuse that means see hypotenuse related sin theta formula is related to hy hypotenuse is related there but in this question nothing is given about the hypotenuse cos theta for the cos theta same thing okay only tan theta is uh, is exactly related to this question because this question is asking what is the height and they gave the information about the base so base and height or adjacent and opposite related formula is tan theta that's why we are using tan theta so this is y y is the height y is the height here in this question and x equals to 50 as 50 meter away this is given just we put it and then uh, 10 73 degree we put it in the calculator calculator gives us the answer of 10 uh, uh, 73 degree which is 3.27 then just we uh, do the cross multiplication to get the answer h so my point is our point is see this uh, the the formula that we discussed in this page we actually can apply it in a real life situation to find out some height of a tall building okay tall building we can we can find it out so this is how we can um, uh, we can use it so let's let's look at the another thing now this is measuring the angles so how we will measure the angle in in our suppose we have this angle so we, we measure it like okay now what is the angle here we use the protector to measure the angle 
and for measuring the angle actually this is the called the initial line okay and then you can draw this line here this is the terminal line and instead of then we have the angle then the angle this is called the vertex this is called the vertex of these two lines because they intersect at this point that's why we are saying it of course we can extend them back also then uh, or we can write this line here also then the angle will be like this so basically if we just move this line from here to here then it becomes uh, an angle angle is changing or we can just write this line here then angle, angle is actually more different okay so this way we can actually make bigger angles let's let's look at here so this is the this is our initial side and this is our terminal side when we just uh, uh, give some rotation in the counterclockwise this is the let me discuss another thing this is also important here this is the counterclockwise direction if you look at some clock the clock actually rotate this way this is the clockwise rotation this is the counterclockwise rotation and in uh, so we we always uh, rotate this in the counterclockwise rotation for positive angle for positive angle counterclockwise rotation from here we started from here this is the initial line so then we rotate here then we go here then we go here suppose to get some bigger angle and let's say this is 30 degree then suppose this is 90 degree then this is more than 90 degree let's say 120 uh, degree something like that of course we can get the exact um, angles if we use uh, exact drawing and mechanism to find out the uh, angles but the point is this is how we uh, make the angle bigger and bigger we go counterclockwise to get the positive angle if we go the go through the clockwise direction this is the convention if we go through the clockwise direction then we get uh, negative angles then the angle angle is negative we will have them actually more in detail in the coming classes this angle is uh, related to the small letter these are the small letter of some uh, of greek alphabets alpha beta gamma theta these are the we can actually uh, to denote the angle we use these symbols theta is very popular in denoting the angle so this is the origin and we can put it here and then we can rotate to get more bigger and bigger angle as you can see to get so so for for example if we rotate this line from here to here it becomes 90 degree if we rotate from here to just up, up until here this is 270 degree 270 90 plus 90 plus 90 270 so we have to count from uh, this direction this direction so this is 270 degree to get a positive angle if you count it from this direction then we will say that okay this is negative 90 okay negative 90 degree and this is the line and if this line completely rotate one time this is called uh, 360 degree because you can see the line could be here 90 then another 90 then another 90 then another 90 total is 360 degree 90 plus 90 plus 90 plus 90 uh, 360 degree this is the circle as you can see another important thing is circle this is the diameter of the circle the line that passes through the center of the circle and connects to uh, connects to the edge of the circumference uh, then this is the diameter and it has it must it must passes through the center of the circle if it do not passes through the center then it becomes a chord then it is called a chord of the uh, of the circle suppose Suppose this line, if we draw here, this is a chord. This, since uh, only difference is this is not passing through the center of the circle. Okay, if the line passes through the center of the circle, then this is the diameter. This is also diameter now. And half of the diameter is the radius, and half of the diameter is the radius. So how the diameter and radius is related? As I said, diameter is double, and radius is half of the diameter. Okay, this is half. Suppose here we have two radius. This is a radius. This is a radius. D, D equals to two R. This is the relationship. How the diameter and circumferences are related? This is a very uh, another famous thing. You know, circumference equals to two pi R, and two R means the diameter. That means we can see the circumference equals to pi into D. What does it mean? It means that. 
if you know that the length of the diameter suppose suppose the length of the diameter is 3 then 3 centimeter 3 meters something then if you multiply this 3 into pi pi means 3.1416 that value then you will get the total length of this circular part then you will get it okay or suppose the, the diameter length of this diameter is 10 suppose 10 centimeter then if you multiply with this if you multiply that pi then you will get the total circumference circumference of this circles this pi is very very powerful number in that way measuring angle using a circles how can we measure so you can see this uh, in the circle we have in the in the quadrant we have seen that this 90 90 90 90 total is uh, uh, total is 360 degree then we can consider it the whole thing we can consider as a circle then we can break it down into a smaller and a smaller and a smaller pieces okay the entire one revolution if we come then total is 360 degree and there are actually stories why it is 360 degree why 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 this suppose why this circle total is 360 degree inside the circle total angle is 360 degree why it is 360 degree there are stories about this and one story is the ancient people actually in their calendar to now the uh, total number of days in a year is 360 uh, 365 days but at that time total number of days uh, was 360 days 360 days so they thought that in a year there are total 360 days so that means after 360 days everything starts back uh, so that's why they actually thought that okay if the whole thing is a circle and then from here if I start I can come back and then again here it starts back so uh, th this is how they came with the idea of this 360 degree. this is a uh, this is a there are many theories this is the most famous one about this so for measuring the for measuring the angles there are two ways to measure the angle one is as you know degree measurement degree means like one degree two degree five degree ten degree or ninety degree this is the degree measurement another one is radian measurement what is radian thing this radian is somewhat related to distance kind of thing okay not the degree the definition of radian is suppose this one from this center if this is one unit and this is also one unit and this thing is one unit this thing is one unit then the angle subtended in this center will be one radian in other words we can say that if this is r unit this is also r this is also r then the angle subtended in this center will be one radian same value if suppose if it is two this is also two this is also two then the angle in this center will be one radian one radian we will call it one radian and so basically this is how we can angle can be measured in the degree or in the radian as you can see and total and now if we go for the radian and uh, degree measurement just to compare eh, just to compare suppose from here from here if we start we can actually count this entire distance yeah, we can count this entire distance and how much total distance we 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 travel okay this this entire distance if this value is one one unit suppose this is one unit it can be two unit then it is uh, two 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 so basically the angle is same do you understand let me let me explain this suppose this is one this is one this is also one yeah. so the angle here and see suppose this is double uh, double of one then this is also double of one then you see this distance also becomes bigger they will automatically they will balance okay automatically they will balance then this will also be true this or in such a way we measure this arc this is called the arc this circular part is called arc we measure this side such a way so that uh, this is also two this is two so we measure it such a way so that this is also two 
and uh, as we know already know that this will always be true because this is the radius this is radius or this is also radius so this will this will itself this will be true automatically so the center this angle is same my point is if you increase this distance one or you make it two or you make it three then you take the three unit distance in the from the same place then the angle is still is remaining the same okay this is why this r r r is written instead of giving any number okay so let's let's come back what is the relationship between this uh, degree and radian this is what we are trying to discuss here now if we rotate this whole thing one time you see we travel this entire entire distance which is actually 2 pi the distance is total is total is 2 pi 2 pi 2 pi radian and in the angle in the center we have we know that this whole angle in the center is 360 degree so in our degree measurement the 360 degree and in the radian system this is exactly same as 2 pi okay in the degree measurement 360 and in the radian measure, measurement 2 pi they means the same thing that's why they we call it okay less 360 degree equals to 2 pi let's try to make some formula so that we can use it in our uh, regular maths then 2 and this we can cancel out we get we get 180 equals to pi 180 equals to pi radian then uh, 180 degree equals to pi radian and then 1 degree equals to this formula we get established or in this is radian this side is radian or from one from this side if we say that one radian equals to what then we have to send this pi down here which will give us this formula and we can just uh, start working from here for our uh, regular maths solving one degree equals to pi divided by 180 radian and one radian equals to 180 divided by pi degrees and these are the these are some common values uh, for our common values of the trigonometric functions like uh, let's say 0 degree uh, sine 0 degree equals to what sine cosine 0 degree equals to what some standard values which uh, usually some people uh, sometimes some people keep that in mind okay suppose if someone says uh, co sine 60 degree equals to what sine 60 degree equals to root 3 by 2 so sine 60 degree sine 60 degree is root 3 by 2 this way these are some standard values but it's not necessary that you have to keep it in mind sometimes it is useful if you can keep that in mind because you can do the math quickly that's it now trigonometry function in the unit circle this is another important concept here in uh, in, in our in this chapter which uh, which is like this somewhat what is a unit circle in our previous slide you have seen that the circle with the radius r now if we have a circle with radius one unit suppose from the center up to here this is one unit one centimeter one meter whatever you say one the value is one then it will be a unit circle and then you see this this hypotenuse this this moving angle the hypotenuse this this hypotenuse thing is always one because this side is the radius this is one this is also one this is also one this is also one yeah. so everywhere this will be one 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 this happens now you see what is happening here is this side is decreasing and then this side is increasing again you'll see this side is increasing but this side is decreasing see this this height is de de increasing and this side is decreasing whatever is see one side is increasing another side is decreasing but if we square them at some position at any position we like our always this will be x square plus y square equal to one because our hypotenuse is one if we consider that uh, hypotenuse is one and this concept uh, is actually useful you will see it later you we will use it in many places where the radius of the circle is one unit radius of the circle radius of this circle is one unit and this this circle this circle we can use in many places yeah, for establishing our for establishing our trigonometric uh, functions also this trigonometry sin theta cos theta 
tan theta we can actually establish that relationship from here also and you will see it uh, just now what is the what is the length of the side adjacent to theta this is the theta this is the adjacent uh, to the theta side suppose this is the point this point value is x comma y x comma some value this could be 1 comma 2 3 comma 5 something okay suppose this this value is x comma y if this value is x comma y then look at this what is the length of this what is the length of this uh, adjacent side this the length of the adjacent side is this thing is the x value right so the first one and this is the y value right and the opposite is the y value so first thing is this is the x value this is the length of the length of the adjacent side and the opposite side this side is y this side is y now by using the uh, the formula that we have seen earlier by using the Sokato formula sin theta sin theta was so s o h so from that thing now we are actually establishing some from this unit circle so the radius is one so that that is a unit circle from this unit circle we are just trying to establish the trigonometric function so sin theta equals to y divided by one how this y divided by one comes because you know sin theta equals to opposite divided by hypotenuse and opposite is this side opposite is y and hypotenuse is 1 that means opposite divided by 1 means just only y similarly cos theta if we use the uh, so ka uh, that formula that uh, mnemonic then we can actually uh, get this uh, adjacent divided by hypotenuse this is the adjacent this is the hypotenuse so we get x so sin theta equals to we get y and cos theta equals to we get x and you can see that this y and x is basically from this point the first value is the x and second value is the y and so so from here actually we can develop our relationship we can say that if in the unit circle on the point on the point this second value will be sin theta will represent the sin theta this is the important thing here and the first value will represent the cos theta this first value this x value will represent the cos theta now what does it mean suppose this value is given let's say root 2 this value is given let's say suppose just only uh, 1.2 or something okay 1.2 1.5 something then we'll say cos theta equals to root 2, root 2 or sin theta equals to then we will say 1.2 or whatever the value is given here the condition is it has to be a unit circle the condition is the radius has to be 1 then from this point we will say that okay first value is the cos theta value second value is the sin theta value and tan theta, tan theta means sin theta divided by cos theta that means y divided by x so we can actually tan theta thing we can easily find it out so sin theta will give us and uh, cosec theta sec theta and cot theta since they are the reciprocal we can actually uh, get cosec sec and cot from these three because they are the reciprocal therefore what now we, we can decide about what we have found the sine function gives the height of the triangle that means you know the second value is sine that means this is the height of the triangle that means sine function in the in this in this uh, unit circle sine function gives us the height of the triangle the triangle that we can draw here the sine function will give us the height of the triangle and cosine function will give us the base of the triangle or adjacent side of the triangle tangent function will give you the slope of this hypotenuse because tan equal to sin theta divided by cos theta uh, which is rise divided by run that means it will give us the uh, tangent function of the a tangent function will give us the give us the slope of this uh, of this given line okay and here also we can see oh now see 
if this value as you, as you say as you, as we said that this line this line can be like one instead of one it can be two three four yeah. if this line is two this is also two i mean for the circle if we consider it as a circle so in that case there is a very easy trick and the trick is if the hypotenuse become two becomes two then actually this sine theta we, we will have two here and we will have two here so we can just uh, distribute this to cos sine and cos and then we can solve the math okay this way we can go for the trick for larger triangle multiply by the hypotenuse if the whatever the hypotenuse is given just multiply that number with them with them that this way it works so this is the math from the book uh, find the exact value we are almost almost uh, at the end of the of this today's uh, video so for this uh, question this is a question from the book 14 and 18 number and the problem 14 to 18 uh, there are a couple of other maths 14 and 18 it, it will be p x comma y is the point on the unit circle our question is to find out the trigonometric ratio trigonometric functions value suppose sine theta equals to what sine of t why it is t because the number is given here t instead of theta in the question it is given t that's why we are writing sine t so sine t equals to what or cos t equals to what this is the question and uh, you can see actually yeah you already you already know now that in, in in this kind of problem first value will represent our cos in this case cos theta but in this case since the number is given this uh, this thing is given as t so we'll say that cos of t and this will be the sine of t so our sine t will be minus root 3 by 2 minus root 3 divided by 2 and cos t will be 1 by 2 like this then tan will be this value divided by this whatever it comes that will be the answer so y means uh, suppose this one if we try to do minus root 3 divided by 2 divided by 1 by 2 then actually we can do some simplification root 3 divided by 2 then 2 goes up 1 comes down this and this cancel out so ultimately we have minus root 3 so tan theta equals to minus root 3 because tan theta means y by x y is this and x is this and similarly we can find out cosec uh, sec and cot because uh, cosec will be uh, for the cosec cosec is the reciprocal of uh, sine so cosec will be cosec is 2 divided by 2 divided by minus root 3 uh, or minus uh, 2 divided by root 3 we can just uh, keep the minus uh, before the number that is, is that is a nice way to write it and sec sec theta will be opposite of this reciprocal of this so this will be just only 2 and cot theta will be this is uh, minus root 3 so cot theta will be minus 1 by root 3 we are just uh, making the reciprocal of the number to get the solution 18 number is also similar and uh, in the homework practice homework slide i have given a couple of more to for you all to do which is here so you will try to read this is the work you will try to read uh, some pages or just have a look quick look on these pages is since you have uh, less time this is the beginning or during this weekend also you will have time to review them then for the skill building you will try to solve this math 11 15 and 17 which are like this this kind of math this this kind of math this kind of math okay this 11 15 and 17 is that kind of math and then uh, try to review this uh, example 8 which we will uh, later we will use that math for some other purpose and if you are interested you can see more videos this is from khan academy these two videos they are related to unit circle and basic trigonometry if you have time you can review them also or you can review them during the weekend also i'm just uh, giving because i thought they are they will be helpful all right uh, still i think this is a relatively little bit long video in the future we will try to make it a little bit shorter and uh, post a little bit earlier let's see and thank you all thank you all thank you very much for watching it and uh, best of luck for your classes and other things see you all in the class bye 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 everyone